Hey Pfingsters and welcome to this video. It's Chris, founder of Pfingster.com and in today's video I'm going to answer within 60 seconds how to get the last element of a Python list. And I've already wasted 12 seconds so let's dive right into it. So given a list of strings, so we have four strings element, Alice, Bob, Liz and Carl, we want to access the last element of the list. Uh, so let's, uh, we use the print function to print out the results to the Python shell and use simple indexing with negative index minus one. Uh, so in Python you can access the list indices by counting forward. So with positive indices this ls element would be the uh, would have index zero, one, two, three. Or you can access the elements with negative indices. So we uh, the last element would have index minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Okay. And we can use that we can access the last element with index minus one. So let's run this. And you see the last element is Carl. We have access to the last element in the string. Done. <laughs> okay, but if you want to um, actually do some more things, so for example, you want to access the last n elements in in your um, in your list, you can use slicing. And if you already know slicing, then pause the video and think about it yourself. How how would you use slicing to access the last say n equals n equal two elements in the list? Okay, I'll give you some time. You can pause the video. If you have figured it out, so now say we want to access the last two elements. We use slicing. As you know, so slicing uh, uses three parameters, three arguments, also within this square bracket notation. So it's like indexing, but you don't index a single element. You index a sequence or a slice of element. And you can define the start index from, wi from which you want to start accessing the elements, the stop index until which uh, element you want to access all the elements so you can uh, basically define this the length of the sub sequence you want to access and the step size or oh, it's not so it's a step argument so step size so for example you can define uh, if you define step size one you would access each element in the sequence if you if you define step size two you would access only every second element okay and so on so you can use a step size to access these sequences um, so how can you how can we use this to access the last n elements in the sequence so first of all we need to define negative step size this may be new to you maybe you already know it then you have figured it out and congratulations <laughs> you're in the uh, at least intermediate python uh, py pythonista but if you don't uh, if you don't knew about this no worries it's like uh, uh, not many beginners know it actually. Um, so you can use negative uh, step size. Negative step size means that now you access the element from the right to the left. Okay, so you start with the um, rightmost element, which is Carl, and you go over the list in reverse. And you can use negative step size minus one, which means that you access all elements. You can use negative step size minus two, which means that you access only every other element. Okay, but we want to access each element and we want to access. Um, we want to start from the right, so therefore we can give, we can use the default start index. So we need to, we don't even need to define the start index. If you if you want to use the default start index, so you want to start from the beginning of the sequence or from the end of the sequence, if you start with the negative index, negative step size, then you can just leave it away. You can just skip it. Otherwise, you could write some like the length of the list, list plus one and so on. So this would be the first uh, index where you start. But we don't have to do this. We can just use the default uh, index and start from the rightmost element. And uh, so how many elements do we want to access? So we want to slice from the right to the left. But remember that the stop index is never included. The stop index is always excluded. So we have, so if we would like define minus one here, for example, this means that, the, that we would, just, we would uh, go from the right of the sequence to the end index, so um, leftwards to the to the to the to the end index minus one, which is the last element. But the last the element, the stop index is not included, so this would be the empty slice. Okay. So therefore, if you have minus two, so we slice until this element excluded. Then our our final slice would have one element, which is the Carl element. Okay. Now you can check this. So let's run this. You see now we have accessed a sublist consisting of one element Carl. So if you have like if you have defined n, so we want to access the n last elements, we could do something like this minus n. But now we still have to move one step further because because the the nth last element will not be included now, as you have already seen in the previous example. Okay, so only Carl is included now, even if we have minus n here. So therefore, we need to slice one step further to the to the left to also include the 
the nth last element, okay? So n minus one. And um, yeah, this actually decreases the, the negative index even more, which means that you slice one position more to the left. Okay, so you have minus n minus one as the stop index, and this, this is how you can access the n last element of a sequence. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to learn more, then subscribe. Check, also, check out my email academy where I give a lot of uh, free content on a weekly basis, on, actually on, almost on a daily basis. You can get a lot of Python courses for free, so check it out. And also check out our books like Python One-Liners, Coffee Break Python. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.